Hi everyone, uh, my name is Oren from Local Catch Monterey Bay. And I'm here today with some beautiful, fresh California market squid out of Monterey Bay. Squid have really short lifespans. They live for only about nine months. And so what happens is they go to spawn, and when they're spawning, they're densely aggregated in all in one spot. And the fishing takes place right after the squid have spawned, and so the squid have already laid their eggs, allowing the next generation to come after them. And when they're caught, it's ideally, if all goes well, it doesn't affect the population too much. Um, and so the fishing pressure can be quite sustainable that way. So I just wanted to tell you a little bit about what often happens with the squid that you might see. A lot of folks love to eat calamari in restaurants usually. Not too many of us cook it at home. Um, but oftentimes the squid that's caught locally here in Monterey Bay, uh, in order to be processed, it's shipped across the ocean to China. Um, just because there is some work involved, not too much, but a little bit. And the cost of labor, of course, is cheaper there. And so it goes across the ocean to China. They do what we're going to do here and turn it, in, turn it into tubes and tentacles. Tubes and tents is what folks in the restaurant business say. Then they ship it back to the U.S. oftentimes in a box that says Monterey Bay Calamari. Uh, there's often no mention of China, even though it's been across the ocean twice. Well, uh, I think, and we all think here at Local Catch, that it's a lot more sustainable to do that at home. You can get your whole family involved. Just a few steps to follow and you'll be eating some delicious Monterey Bay calamari in no time. All right, so one thing that is good to have is an apron. Uh, squid do have ink, and so you may want to protect yourself against any ink spray. Um, and so let's, let's start here with looking at the materials that we have. We have our cutting board, of course. We have some lovely market squid. We have a sharp knife and a bowl of cold water just for rinsing things out. All right, so the first thing we're going to do Let's take a look at one of these squid. They have a beautiful color here. The skin is very fragile, but kind of a different purple tones. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to separate the head with the tentacles attached to it from the rest of the body. And to do that, we're going to put one hand around the body, our other hand around the head and the tentacles, and we're going to gently pull and separate them and try to pull everything out all at once, like so. All right, so there we go. We're left with the head and, and guts right there and the tentacles. And then the rest of the body, we're going to set aside for a moment. Next thing we're going to do is with just one cut, we're going to separate the tentacles from the rest of the head and, and the guts and the insides. So I want you to look for where the eyes are right here. And you're just going to do one cut right behind the eyes, between the eyes and the tentacles. Ready? Like so. OK? And uh, you can now take the eyes and uh, the guts. And we don't need this part. Uh, the ink, actually, is right behind the eyes. So if we, when you're cutting, if you cut right back in there, you'll get a little bit of ink spray. Some people use the squid ink in cooking. Um, so if you know how to do that, it's a great thing to do. But if you don't want to use this, then toss it away. All right, so here we have the tentacles. They're really pretty. And you can see there's a little hole right here where the squid feeds, similar to an octopus. It's a, a cephalopod. And there's a little part that helps it feed called the beak. And it's kind of a solid piece right in the middle that you can't really eat. So we're just going to squeeze and pull out the beak. And there it is. So this you don't eat. The tentacles are delicious. But you want to take the beak and toss that into your trash there. And the tentacles are now good to go. I'm going to throw them into my bowl of water over here and uh, just give them a little rinse. And they can hang out there for a moment. All right, so here's the other part of the squid that we have, the body. And you can eat pretty much all of this. This is what turns into the rings, the squid rings in calamari. There's one part that you can eat, and that's this piece of cartilage that's inside called the quill. 
And so we're going to feel for that. You can kind of, if you put your finger inside, there's a point of it sticking here. You can kind of feel the more solid part. So what you need to do is pull that out. So you just kind of have to reach with your finger, separate it, and then pull it out like so. See that? It's actually quite pretty, very clear. It almost looks like a piece of plastic in there. So if you try to chew on that, you're going to be chewing for a while. All right, so our final step is going to be taking the body and cutting it into tubes or squid rings, which is a pretty straightforward process. Uh, if we take a look here at our squid body, you'll see that sometimes the, squid, uh, the skin of the body starts to peel off a little bit. Now, it's totally edible, uh, like the skin of most fish, but uh, if you want to peel that off, a lot of chefs will peel off the skin, and it, sometimes it'll all come off in, in one piece. And uh, that will help to just keep it looking a little cleaner so it's a more uniform product, like so. But you don't have to do this. You can leave it on, and I actually like the, the color, the purple color, if you cook with the skin on. It's pretty. Here we go. Peels off pretty easily. So here's our, our squid body, and we're just going to take our knife and cut it into little rings. And whatever width you want, most people will do about a half an inch. That's what we're used to. Down here you have the fins. They are entirely edible as well. So I'm going to cut right through the middle right there. Now sometimes there's a little bit of extra kind of guts inside or it's just some stuff other than the meat. Let's pull that out. And what I like to do is I just throw everything back in a, the water for a moment and just give it a, a little rinse. So take these rings here and uh, get any remaining skin off or little bits of inside. And we're all set now. So let's just take a look at what we've ended up with. We've got our tentacles, which are going to be really delicious to eat. They look like this, nice and meaty. And then we've got a whole bunch of uh, squid rings, right? So our tubes. Our squid bodies cut up into rings, ready for you to fry them or saute them or do any number of things. Uh, they're beautiful. So I'm getting hungry here. So we're going to wrap this up and uh, you know, enjoy your squid. You can cook it any number of ways. And I uh, hope you enjoy. The queen of light took her bow, and then she turned to gold. The prince of peace 